Hey guys, what is up? Welcome into the video. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving my thoughts on the overall market and five stocks that I'm looking to add heavy and just my favorite positions to increase, my favorite stocks to buy right now and everything like that. I'll be going over a lot of technicals as well and my plan for all of these stocks in the video. So make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video so you get all these stock picks and yeah, let's get into it. So first off, I wanna talk about the overall market. So today, I'm looking at today as a healthy pullback and the market still looks overall very, very bullish. We're holding the key support level that we need and we're looking at another leg up and possibly all-time highs if rumors about stimulus keeps on swirling. Now, if we were to get horrible news about stimulus, if we were going to another lockdown, stuff like that would make the market tank. But other than that, I cannot see the market tanking anytime soon. After the election, anything can happen. But up until then, I do see us having a bull run unless something big changes. So now let's look into some stocks that I really, really like right now. So first off, right now I'm loving Tesla. I think when it breaks 450, which could easily happen tomorrow or Thursday, when it breaks 450, we could go on a run very quickly up to the 480 resistance. And if we break that, we should be breaking past $500. Now, I don't know how soon this will happen, but I do see us breaking 450 by the end of this week and running up once we do. I think when we break 450, I think we'll have an immediate run within that day or the next day up to 460. And I could see Tesla just start running up massively up to earnings, which is October 21st. I really like buying October 23rd options right now. Reason because it should be running up, up to earnings. I plan to take profits before earnings. And reason because of this, the market right now just wants to sell the news. We saw the Apple event today, sold off massively. Apple was down 3%, not because Apple had a bad presentation, but just because people were looking at this as a sell the news situation. Everything in this market, mergers, earnings, big events, they're all sell the news. So right now we need to have the mindset, okay, we need to sell before the news hits. So sell early rather than too late. That's the plan here. So grow generation is the next stock I'm gonna be talking about. You guys know that this was in my Sunday video for my top stocks. This is actually my number one pick this week. And this morning on Twitter, I posted after this pullback from yesterday, if we bounce off of this resistance line, we could be running up past $20. Now we bounced perfectly off this support line and we're looking very bullish in the short term. And I could see this stock running up to $19 to $20. By the end of the week, I'll most likely be taking profits if we had $20. But if we don't have $20, I may be holding another week or so. This is more of a quick swing trade, so I will be looking to take profits either this week Week or next week. So the next stock I'm going to be talking about is Rocket Mortgage, ticker symbol RKT. You guys know that I love this position. And look, today we got news that interest rates are likely to stay very, very low for a whole nother generation. Now that is insane. And what does that mean? That means more home sales, more mortgages. And what does that mean for Rocket? More revenue, more income. And what looks like a short-term pop for Rocket's revenues and the performance as a company, this could be going on a lot longer than we're thinking. So they're expected to announce a dividend pretty soon. They have earnings mid-November. I could see this stock hitting the $30 range once again and has the potential if things go right to hit $40 by the end of the year. This is one of my favorite mid slash long-term swings. And we can also see this pattern has an ascending triangle and it did start breaking out of that resistance line today. So we could easily get a pullback, use that resistance line as a support and balance off of there, but we could just go straight up. This is one of my favorite stocks to buy right now. I do not see much risk with everything going on in the housing market. It does look bullish short term at the least and we get all these news about low interest rates for the foreseeable future. That's all good news for Rocket Mortgage and home sales should keep on flying as people are looking to sell their homes, get refinance rates and buy homes with the super low interest rates. So those three stocks what I have been personally focusing on in the past couple of days, but I also have some longer term swings that I love and some great value in the market. So one of my favorite values in the market right now is Helion, ticker symbol H-Y-L-N. You guys know that this stock has been beaten down massively. And we can take a look at the chart and just how beaten down this has been, going all the way up to highs of $50 plus, and now it's chilling right around $27. So how much more of a drop should we expect? Now the next support line that we could hit is $26. Me personally, I cannot foresee this company going under $26. This is a great long-term company and a sector that should get going very soon. And yeah, I'm loading up any price under $30. Today I was buying more and I will keep on increasing my position if this does dip more because this is stock I'm looking to hold mid slash long-term. Looking at this as a hold from two to eight months or so, because I do see the stock taking off, possibly getting new highs past $50 in this time frame. Now it should be bouncing back pretty quickly and I do expect a big run once it does bounce. There's also a good chance for PR. So I could easily see some PR, some partnership announcement coming soon that could rocket the stock back up to the $40 range. And from there, we could be trending up as they come up with more news, more PR and anything like that. So this is a stock that I'll keep dip buying. I do believe in the company and I really like the business model as a whole. And I will be looking to hold two to eight months as a swing trade. 
All right, so this next stock that I'm gonna be talking about is Tencent, ticker symbol T-C-E-H-Y. So you guys know that I love my social trends trade, and this is a perfect social trend that, that I believe has a chance to take off. So I was watching the Apple presentation today, and they announced that they're gonna be able to have League of Legends using their 5G network, and League of Legends, the first mobile version for this game. So this is one of the most popular games in the world, and taking it mobile, I believe it's gonna take off. In this current environment, social trends travel faster than ever using TikTok and other social media platforms. Just online, and especially things on mobile devices, this is gonna travel like crazy. This is a Fortnite type situation. As you can see, the big spike we had Fortnite search volume when Fortnite was taking off, and I believe this has a chance to be the next Fortnite type mobile game. So we can also see best mobile games. This search volume is taking off right now as well. So people are looking for mobile games to play, and I believe that League of Legends is gonna be one of the most popular games. And take a look at this. This article says, with 1.5 billion in revenues in 2019, League of Legends ranked second in free-to-play PC games just behind Epic Games, Battle Royale, Fortnite. So this is number two right behind Fortnite. And yeah, I just believe this can be a big trend. A ton of people are gonna be getting this game. And this is huge for Tencent, who owns League of Legends. So as we know, the hot sector was SPACs about a month ago, and since then they've all been beating down massively. So right now, LCA, which is the merger with Golden Nugget, we have been waiting for news for the past like two months, and we still have not gotten the SEC filing for the merger date. Now I believe we're due for news anytime now. There's so many impatient investors that are just selling. So I did end up reducing my position pretty big a couple weeks back, as I did with all of my SPAC positions, as you gotta move along with the hot sector. But I have been loading up on LCA when it's under $14, because just fundamentally, this company is super, super undervalued. So another thing that we need to think about is when these mergers do complete, these stocks tend to drop because it's another sell the new situation. Now honestly, should we see a huge pop after the ticker change? No, because it's already planned out. Should we see a huge drop? No, I think we should just stay steady, but that's not how the market works. People are looking at everything as a sell the new situation. So until that changes, I'll be looking to take profits before the merger and look to buy back in on a dip with SPAQ and LCA, both who should be merging pretty soon. We know that SPAC is expected to be merging on October 28th, no date yet for LCA, and OPES is also due for news anytime now. So this is also one that I'll probably be looking to take profit before the merger completes. Until we see the trend change, where it's a positive trend, after the ticker change, I will be selling before the ticker change happens, just to be safe and just because these stocks have been selling off and we do gotta follow what the market has been doing. Now three SPACs that I believe are absolute steals at this price, there's pretty much no downside and just upside, they could take off. So first one is HCAC, this is the merger with Canoe. Now it's trading below $10.50. This is insane to me, the very worst it can do pre-merger is go to $10. Now it has unlimited upside and after merger, yeah, it can go lower than $10. But if you're buying this at $10.50, what if we get PR before the merger happens? What if we get some big news? What if we get a lot of hype? It runs up to $12, that's easy money right there. Now what if it runs up to $15, $20? That would be crazy, but that's possible if they do come up with some big PR. So there's just so little downside, the risk reward is what I love here. And yeah, I'll be increasing my position as the stock keeps on dipping and the risk just gets that much smaller. As of right now, the risk is pretty much less than 1%, which is crazy. Also TRNE, this is the merger with desktop metal. The 3D printing space has also been performing very well. Desktop metal is lagging behind, probably because it's behind a SPAC. People don't like SPACs right now, but the trend should be slowly changing. I could see this trend changing by the end of the year. And desktop metal is a very legit company. They have a ton of deals. And we also got news recently that Tesla is looking for a 3D partner. Now we know that Desktop Metal has a ton of partnerships with big companies, one of which is Ford, so they do know how to work the auto space. But would I expect them to make a deal with Tesla? No, but the possibility is there and the possibility for more partnership announcements, PR releases, it's all right there and trading $11, another great risk reward play. And finally, the next risk reward play, this is under $10.60. This is ticker symbol PIC. This is gonna be the merge with XL Fleet. So this is another EV company. And by the way, I do expect the EV stocks to take off soon. We have Trump and Biden both endorsing electric vehicles. So no matter who wins the election, we should not see any big dip afterwards. This election should be acting as a positive catalyst for these electric vehicle stocks. So this company, XO Fleet, they have legit revenue. They're ahead of the game in a lot of ways. Now it's not any crazy upside stock, but they already have a product, they already have revenues. And it's just a pretty solid company all around in a space that could get hyped up as a whole. So I could see this stock trending to $12, $13 pre-merger. That's a possibility. Now I'm not looking at this as crazy upside, but this is just a super low risk and a solid potential reward play, just like the other two with HCAC and TRNE. 
So guys, I just wanted to update you on a couple of my plays, what I'm thinking about the overall market, and just my plan for all of these stocks. So if you're interested in the private stock group, that link is down below. If you want to get two free stocks on Webull, valued all the way up to $1,600 each, that link is down below as well. That offer does end pretty soon, so I highly recommend you get that. So I highly recommend you get that before the offer ends. It does benefit me as well. It does help support the channel. It is an affiliate link. If you also want to get five free dollars in Acorn investing, 10 free dollars in Bitcoin, hey, you can't get wrong with free money. Those links are down below as well. I would greatly appreciate it if you use those. And yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I would appreciate all of the above. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's get rich.